What's up guys and welcome back to another video on Hyper Gaming. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Xbox One 1911 dashboard update, also known as the November 2019 update. This update adds a few new features such as Google Assistant support, gamer tag improvements, message safety features, mixer features, simplified settings and voice to text dictation. Without further ado, let's get started with message safety. Okay, so the first feature that we're going to be showing off in this update video is a new feature called Message Safety, which has been added to privacy and online safety in the Xbox settings. So if we go to the guide, go to the system tab, and then go to settings, and then go to the account tab, and then go to privacy and online safety, you'll notice that there is a third option called Message Safety. You can see we have multiple options such as text and received messages, text and message requests, media and received messages, media and message requests, web links and received messages, and you can view hidden content. So for example, if we select this one, we have unfiltered, mature, medium, and friendly. So unfiltered will allow, basically means that the filter is turned off and is recommended for private conversations with the friends you trust. Mature allows vulgar words but will block harsh bullying etc and is intended for people who mostly trust who they are talking to. Medium aims for a balance between friendly and mature and will allow certain vulgar words as long as they're not being used to bully someone. And friendly blocks as much potentially offensive content as possible and is recommended for people who want to block as much as possible. You can see on most of these areas in the setting, you have these filters. You can see you have unfiltered, mature, medium, and friendly. You even have some which have block all, which blocks everything. For example, immediate and received messages, you can block all uh, messages uh, that contain images, video, and animated content. Same thing with message requests. If you do not want anyone who's not on your friend list uh, to send you images, videos, or animated content, you can just select block all, and anyone that's not on your friends list will be not be able to send those content. So for web links and receive messages, you have unfiltered, mature, and block all and you can view hidden content. So this will allow you to decide to so you allow yourself to bypass message filters and look at filtered content. Um, so this is either allow or block. So you can see at the top, we have the option to get more information about the safety levels. This will take you to the Xbox Assist application, which provides detailed information about each of the different filtering levels. And this includes the friendly, medium, mature, and unfiltered settings. So that is the Metris safety feature that has been added in the Xbox One 1911 dashboard update. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to be showing off in this update video is the improvements that Xbox has added to Mixer. If we go down to the Mixer section of the Xbox dashboard and go to any stream that is currently broadcasting, for example, this guy, The Preacher, which is currently broadcasting Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, you notice that on the bottom right-hand corner, we now have a new option called Chat Layout. Out. This allows you to hide the chat, which can allow you to hide the chat on the corner, or sorry, the side of the screen. You can see the chat is now hidden. This can also be done by pressing the view button of your Xbox controller. You can also adjust where the chat is located on your screen. You can have it on the left, and then you can have it also on the right. So that is the improvements that Xbox has done to Mixer in the 1911 dashboard update. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to be showing off in this update video is the improvements that they have done to the settings app. So if we go to the guide, go to the system tab and then select settings, you'll notice that the Xbox settings has been condensed and reorganized with commonly used settings at the top, which according to Xbox will improve navigation and discoverability of features and settings on your Xbox One console. You can see we now have the following tabs, general, account, system, devices and streaming, preferences, and ease of access. 
On general, you can access various settings, including your network settings, personalization, online safety and family, TV and, pre- t- TV and display options, volume and audio output, and power mode and startup. On account, you can access various settings, including sign-in, security and pass key, social account links, subscriptions, family settings, remove accounts, content restrictions, and more. System allows you to get information about your console, updates and downloads, language and location, Cortana settings and more. Device streaming allows you to get access to set, uh, settings regarding accessories, console streaming, digital assistance, disc and Blu-ray settings and more. Preferences allow you access to notifications, activity feed, idle options, break reminders, feedback and capture and share. And ease of access allows you to access narrator, nar- uh, uh, narrator magnifier, clouds, uh, sorry, closed captioning, audio controller and high contrast. So that is the simplified settings. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to be taking a look at in this update video is the new voice-to-text dictation feature, which allows people who have a headset or connect connected to their Xbox One to press the view button on wherever the keyboard is on the screen to start converting speech to text. So if I go to the guide, go to the search section, and when you're on the keyboard, you'll notice that there's a new icon on the bottom right-hand corner, which can also be activated by pressing the view button to start converting speech to text. This means that you can now use a microphone to start searching and it will convert that voice to text. So for example, let's say if you've got a microphone, you want to search for a game, you don't have to manually type it in using the keyboard, you can just press the view button, say the game or app you want to search and it will convert that to text where you can search. This is currently available in countries such as English, United States, Canada, English, India, English, UK, Spanish, Mexico, Spanish, Spain, French, Canada, French, German, Italian, Norwegian, Portuguese, Japanese, and simplified Chinese, with more countries uh, to be coming in future Xbox One updates. So that is voice to text dictation, which has been added in the 1911 dashboard update. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to be showing off in this update video is Google Assistant voice support for the Xbox One which has been added in the 1911 dashboard update. Now before we actually show you on how to set up Google Assistant for your Xbox One, I'm going to show you a quite an important setting that you need to activate in Xbox settings in order for Google Assistant to work correctly. You need to go to the guide, go to the settings and then go to devices and streaming. Go to device, uh, digital assistance and make sure that this checkbox is activated. This will allow you to use a digital assistant to control your Xbox. Now this will allow you to use either Alexa, Cortana or Google Assistant. So now I'm going to switch to my phone where I'll be showing you on how to set up the Google Home app to allow you to control your Xbox One. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your app store. If you're on Android, that is the Google Play Store. And what you need to do is you need to download and install the Google Home application onto your tablet or phone. Okay, so once you're in the app, you need to click on the plus icon, set up device, have something already set up and search Xbox. Once you've done this, you need to sign in with the same Microsoft account that you have used on your Xbox console. So once you've signed into your Microsoft account on the Google Home application, your Xbox One console is now been successfully linked to Google Assistant, meaning that you can now start to use Google Assistant to send commands to your Xbox One. So without further ado, let's show off a Google Assistant allow launching a Gears of War 5 on the Xbox One. Tell Xbox to launch Gears 5. Sure, launching on Xbox One X. And that is about it for this video on Happy Game. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you'd like more content like this, make sure you comment, like and subscribe for more Xbox One Upbeat videos on the channel. I'll see you in the next one.